guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I am building a mid-century modern-inspired home in the world of Oasis Springs, and this is a three-bedroom, one-bathroom house coming in at 71,274 simoleons. You can also see the name of the lot I'm building it on in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, but I'm really excited to share this build with you guys because I've actually been working on it for a really long time. I started this build a couple of months ago thinking thinking I wanted to build a mid-century modern house using only base game and so a majority of the exterior is using only base game but for whatever reason I wasn't sure how I wanted to go forward with it if I was liking it if I wanted to decorate the interior with just base game or what I wanted to do so I just kind of put it to the side and figured that I would come back to it when I figured that out well I figured it out <laughs> um I thought that this would work perfectly with the new Dream Home Decorator game pack and be a great use for a limited pack build just using base game and that new game pack. So that is what this house is going to be. We're using a ton of the new items from that pack. So if you only have base game and the new pack, this will be something you can definitely download. And if you'd like to, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y, P-H-I. And you could also find that under the hashtag Miss Griffy and that information is also in the description down below. But as you can see here, I'm using quite a bit of show live edit objects to get those like little columns up uh, connecting the fences to the roof line. And I also used a lot of these like stone pieces on the ground to make a pathway up to the house and then over here as well. This section is not leading to another doorway. What it's going to be is where I put like the trash cans and stuff. I just thought it looked nice and and would be functional in real life as well to be like hidden from the rain to be under the roof so that's what that space is and then I'm also grabbing a bunch of fences and plants and just I, I tend to go all out in base game builds in particular with show live edit objects but in general as well because there's just so many more items at my disposal and I like the variety and you know I explain this in a lot of builds but I just think it's so nice to have so many more plants and I, I'm curious if we'll ever get another pack that gives us more landscaping items like a lot of them uh i'm i'm just wondering because now we have kits too and i've heard a lot of desire for a plant kit and it's mostly for indoor plants and i would love that as well but i would like a landscaping kit <laughs> or a landscaping stuff pack i guess we sort of got that with romantic garden stuff but i feel like it's a very particular style that i know i personally never use but i don't know let me know your thoughts on that because I would love some more landscaping items because it's just really fun. I enjoy landscaping. I know not everyone does, but it's something I really, really do have a lot of fun doing. And I think how you landscape a build could definitely change the vibe of the whole building. Uh, but as you can see here, this is still footage from like a couple of months ago where I'm just trying to build the house and work on the landscaping. I do not have dream home decorator yet. I have no idea that it's going to exist. I think this was even before, yeah, this was before Courtyard Oasis. Um, this is in like the middle of a huge drought <laughs> of information. It's a while after Paranormal and uh, yeah, just trying to build a base game house, playing around with it. I really like the shape I came up with here and the landscaping. I was very indecisive about the color though. I changed it so many different times. You'll probably see it change a few different times here. There was some blues, there was greens, there was oranges. We are very limited and now we have the new game pack. The first thing I did was decide I'm gonna try the triangle wallpaper on the outside. And since it was the white swatch, it was really subtle. I did like that. I also added a ottoman out here, this wood piece behind the trash cans, some of the plants. And I think it helped the exterior quite a bit. It looks so much nicer in my opinion. And then I was excited to figure out a floor plan. And this is where I'm deciding we're going to have three bedrooms and a bathroom over here. And that the other side, the left side of the build is going to be the living space. And I think it worked out really nicely. This floor plan came together very quickly and I was really happy with it because a lot of times I do struggle with floor plans. So it's always nice when one comes together really quickly, but... I do just have a little hallway here full of doors. I like to do that because I think it's more realistic and then your build isn't just cluttered with doors everywhere. You can just kind of put them all in one small space. 
And then I thought having a sunken living space with a sectional couch down here would be nice. And I actually made it this yellow swatch because I wanted the interior to be really bright and happy. And so I had a lot of fun with the colors in this house in particular. You'll see that, uh, but most of what I'm using is from the new game pack because, you know, the outside is mostly base game. So I made the inside mostly game pack. <laughs> also, I keep wanting to call this pack Dream Home Designer. And I keep doing it and then trying to edit it out. <laughs> and it's, I don't know why I keep wanting to call it that, but I do. But this is the kitchen here. I am using the cabinets that are with the like handles on them with the orange and blue swatch. I just think it's such a fun one. There's so much color and I was very excited about it. And uh, I just, I've been really into this layout of kitchen too, where one wall is like flat and then the other one has a little bit of an L shape to it. And then there was a perfect spot for a dining table right next to the kitchen. So I just think the layout came together really quickly and the colors are really fun. Lots of oranges, yellows, and blues, which all looked together nicely, nicely together. I don't know why I put those words the opposite way, but uh, when you first walk in, I put one of these closet pieces that we got here because, you know, it made sense to have a place to hang up your coats and stuff when you first walk in the door. And then I'm trying to figure out some wallpapers for the various bedrooms. I was imagining that this family had two children. I didn't put any bunk beds in this house. I just, I wanted to use the single beds as is, but uh, you could definitely turn them into bunk beds and have more children in this house if you would like to. I also am pretty sure I put a pool in this backyard. I had space for it and I always am like, no, we don't need a pool. So today I was like, you know what? Yes, yes, we need a pool. <laughs> so I, I was pretty happy about that because I just talked about never putting pools in my houses. And so I decided to do so today. But using the single beds made me really appreciate some of the swatches because they're so pretty. I've mostly been using the bunk beds, so I'm like, oh, this is a cute bunk bed, but not paying as much attention to the particular swatches on them and all the colors that go with it. I don't know. I feel like because I'm usually having two different ones, I'm not focusing as much on the particular patterns. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I felt about it. But this is in the primary bedroom here, and it's very blue. I think it's cute. Oh, yeah, this item from Base Game that's like a chair stage to take pictures or be a painting piece, like a reference image to do some artwork. I wanted to put that in the kids' room because I was imagining that particular child was really into painting. So I put that in there. That's an item I forget exists all the time, especially because I always forget it's from Base Game too. For some reason, I always think it's from one of the other packs. I don't even know which one. Maybe Get Together because photography? I'm not sure, but I always forget it exists, and I was so excited that I was able to put it in this build. But this room is pretty much done. We're just putting a little bookcase with some clutter here and then moving on into the artist kid room, which is very green and orange. You'll see I'm adding an orange wall in here and then just getting like a closet space over here. I used some of the modular furniture to make a closet space and a dresser, and there's a mirror above it on one side, I'm pretty sure. I think, let's see, did I add it? There it is. I think that looks so nice. I was really happy with that configuration of the items and just getting some more artwork over here. I'm pretty sure I put a desk and then I have a variety of pieces of artwork leaning on shelves and on the desk so that there's just tons of it all over this space. I imagine this kid is very into their art and um, I just think it worked nicely with this particular game pack and also based game. Got a laptop, some books, some more clutter. I just want to make it look lived in and realistic. So we have a book bag over here. Got some boxes. I'm pretty sure I get some CDs. And the little llama. The llama is so cute. I love that item. That's, that's a new item that came with Dream Home Decorator. It's just a decoration piece. I feel like I'm going to put it in like every kid's room and every nursery from now till the end of time. Like so good. I also put a tree on the wall. I was thinking maybe that kid could have painted it. And then this is the other kid's bedroom. It's very pink and purple. I was thinking that they were really into outdoorsy stuff, particularly butterflies. I think that's a pretty common little kid like obsession. I know I had a sibling that was very into butterflies and pink and purple. So I did that. I also put the like 
kid and toddler play tent outside. It was too big to fit inside, but I wanted to use it, so it's outside. I also used the cloud shelf. I always forget that shelf exists too. This is just the, the build where I use the new game pack, but I also use lots of base game items that I forgot that we had. So I hope you enjoy it. I also used that little desk piece, or not desk piece, uh, dresser piece that I used in the other room as well. I think it's just such a perfect size dresser. And the little cloud mirror, it matches so nicely with that shelf. And then we are working on the one and only bathroom in this space. It's very blue. <laughs> Uh, it's just a theme of this house and a lot of my builds in general. I'm I'm very blue happy. I use a lot of blue. Um, but getting some soap and toothbrushes. And then I also used a couple of these little cube shelves over on the side to add a little bit more clutter to the space. We get some towels and I think a basket full of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And a little plant in here. I just think it looks a little bit more lived in that way when you add that sort of clutter. But just getting a couple more decorations and then moving back throughout the house to add a couple of more like things that I forgot to add. We get a fruit bowl in here, some curtains. Oh, and we're going to add one of my favorite things that I did to this space. So there's this little shelving unit and I figured that if you stuck it through the counter, it sort of looked like a bread box that's in the same style as the rest of the build. And I was very excited about that little addition. So hopefully you guys like it as well. And I don't just sound silly for being so excited about it. But we're just finishing up the landscaping here and then we're going to be heading on into screenshots. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.